on my way to Colombia. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to go on my flight and I'm super excited. Like, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready. The body right now. Um, and I'm just sitting here. Because I hate waiting in line. But I'm just so ready. Especially to get this two steps here. This crooked too. But here we go. Can't wait to show you guys the process. Guys, I made it to Colombia, Medellin. And you guys don't understand how excited I am. So I decided to come here for medical tourism and I'm gonna get some veneers for my teeth. And I've been waiting for this day literally for so long. Um, I didn't always want veneers, but I mean, I guess they're um, the kind of thing in right now. But what kind of motivated me, I really started to hate my teeth. Um, when I had to get two teeth removed and I just started looking at my teeth more, I was like, dang, I really don't like them. And after I got these two crowns, um, it started making me feel like, wow, I want a little nicer teeth and they're whiter too. So I'm like really excited to get a new smile. Okay. Um, I fully trust my doctor and I can't wait to show you guys my experience um, and I'll tell you guys more why I decided to come and answer all your questions to why even travel to Colombia to get veneers why not do them in the United States I'm gonna answer all those questions for you guys because I know I sure have a lot of questions um, before I get my veneers done um, but also too, I'm just gonna show you my teeth now because I really hate them. So, I mean, my teeth are not bad, but I have this crooked tooth. So they do have to shave it a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Ever since I got these two fake teeth, I don't know if you can see they're whiter than the rest of my teeth. I already have two fake teeth, so. I really could care less if they got to shave this down and I just don't want to go through the process of wearing braces. I'm going to have to wait probably like six more months a year to fix this and I hate it because every time I'm talking to videos I see it and I'm just like mm. I, I just want to get rid of it. I hate it. It bugs me. Nobody sees it but you are your own self critic but like I said, I can't wait to get a newer smile, guys. So you're going to see my process. Um, I made it to Medellin last night. Um, the hotel I'm staying at is only like eight minutes away. I'll probably Uber there. It's actually like raining right now. I'm going to show you my hotel. It's actually really nice. It's really spacious. So this is when you walk in. So... I know I had to prop up some pillows to make this video. So it's really cute. I picked something simple. I'm not here for that long. I've been to Medellin before, so I already had the Medellin experience. And it's so beautiful. This is like the only city that I would ever move to because it's kind of city, but also like foresty, all that greenery. So yeah, guys. I'm excited. I am actually going to go eat some breakfast right now really quick um, before I head out to the doctor. My appointment so early, 8 in the morning. Ugh. I literally settled in last night, probably like 1 in the morning. Didn't go to bed till like 2, 3. So I'm surprised I'm not tired, but I also have kids. So I really miss them. So I feel like I'm going through like separation anxiety. That's why I couldn't sleep. But here we are guys. So I'm gonna put my shoes on and start my day. So this is what I'm eating for my appointment. So cute in here. This is Robbie.
right now we are taking before and after pictures. I am ready to get my perfect smile. And the office is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys the office in a minute. Do you like this? Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so and also we have this one which is without like natural details mm -hmm. on top but like all white. Can mm -hmm. you see it? Like no shades. Yeah, I see. Okay. And now we have like a like a mix. This also like this one. Yesterday was my first appointment and sorry I didn't finish recording when I got back. I was just so exhausted. I was probably in there for, I swear, maybe three to four hours. Um, so basically I had to laser some of my gums. If you can see, like there's like some bandages. I don't want to say bandages, but wraps, whatever he put on because he doesn't want my gums to um, like grow overnight and then that's just gonna mess up my form but i'm happy with my teeth already literally like they're like literally almost all straight now <laughs> but today i'm gonna go in and then they're going to place the teeth on top of my teeth so i'm finally gonna have veneers so i'm like very excited for that um Yesterday, he numbed me with just local anesthesia, um, normally at the regular doctor's office. Um, so he did that. So I didn't feel a thing um, when he was like lasering my gums. Um, he had to shave, obviously, my crooked tooth down and shave my other teeth too. Um, minimal shaving though. Um, that's why I recommend if you don't want shaving at all, Definitely get braces, but I told him knock yourself out, shave as much as you need to with this tooth because I, I'm just impatient. I don't want to wear braces. So um, yeah, if you don't want them to shave your teeth, I definitely recommend getting braces before this and then you probably will have to shave or maybe shave a little bit down. But as you can see, my teeth are still intact and now they're just going to place the teeth on top. Um, after my appointment, my mouth was a little sore, um, 
it was just from the numbing though i think once the numbing went down because my face was like a little swollen like my lip was like <laughs> up here but i was able to eat after i ate spaghetti they recommend eating just soft food um i went to the mall shopping that's why i was out <laughs> so you can definitely still live life after your first appointment and i'll definitely show you the results from the second appointment because i'm finally gonna get my smile literally in two days i was surprised so i thought we had to wait a day but um i guess not nah, we're I'm coming back today and my teeth are going to be perfect. I'm going to have a perfect smile, so I'll show you guys soon. Okay guys, um, so the veneers that we place, the uh, top smiles, are porcelain veneers. Uh, it is the closest uh, material to your natural tooth. Awesome. Um, do I have to shave my teeth when getting veneers? Okay, so that's like one of the most like questions that you guys have. Um, you don't have to like get your teeth shaved down but we have to do a no minimal prep which is just even your teeth so we make a little bit of space to place your veneers yeah, like minimal shape uh-huh yeah a no minimal uh, shape but now like your whole teeth shaved down Got it. um how do you choose a shape for veneers okay so we uh, here at Top Smiles, we use a, a small graphy. Uh, before to start the process, we choose shape, uh, textures, and color with the patient, so we we can achieve that uh, look that the patient is like looking for. And do if you drink wine or coffee, does it stain your veneers? No, not at all. Um, our personal veneers does not stain uh, with wine or coffee or smoking uh, different that composite or resin veneers that that uh, type of veneers they stain oh, I think my right one so <laughs> <laughs> and how long do veneers last um, well our 100% porcelain veneers they last up to 20 years it depends on the care um, but sometimes some patients they last more than two years. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's my next question. How do you maintain your veneers? Okay, so um, you have to take care of the veneers uh, every day and also get cleanings uh, every six months. Gotcha. Okay. And last question: um, Can you eat certain? Is, do you avoid certain foods like when you get veneers? No, no. Uh, the thing is just to be careful the way you bite into things. Uh, you also gotta like uh, think that you have veneers in your mouth. Um, sometimes uh, the actual the natural teeth uh, break. So when you have porcelain veneers, they can also break if you like don't take care of them. So if you are uh, like biting, I don't know, hard stuff, um, like candies, uh, things like that, but like uh, normal food, you can eat whatever you want, it's just the way you bite into things. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Well, 
Well, I hope that answers most of the top questions people ask when they're mm -hmm. trying to get veneers yeah. and you feel more comfortable. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or just direct um, your message towards Dr. D and he will give you the confidence you need to get veneers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, see you guys at Top Smiles to get you 100% for seven veneers. Cheers. Cheers. Are you guys ready for my smile? Guys, oh my God. So people that follow me on social media already see my smile, but YouTube, here it is in three, two, one. Look at my smile. This is my smile by Dr. D. Guys, so my full review on Dr. D, I love him. I felt super comfortable um, with Dr. D. Um, you guys questioned me why I travel to Colombia. One, it's a no-brainer. It's more affordable than the States. And secondly, I just always feel like I get taken care of more when I'm out of the country than in the United States. And like I said before, I already had two fake teeth here. I paid 5000 2500 $2, each for one porcelain veneer and I got 11 on the top 11 on the bottom or 12 okay I think I got <laughs> no yeah, yeah yeah okay I got 11 on the top 11 on the bottom most people get 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom but I have a bigger smile and you can see my molars like all the way in the back so if I just got 10 you would still see like my old teeth in the back and we're not having that so i had to like you know fix all of that and by the way if you guys have question on pricing please i cannot answer you so you have to dm dr d everyone's case is different like i said most people get 20 teeth and when i got there he told me i needed more teeth because my smile was bigger so you know you never know so you actually get there and if you have a bunch of questions direct them to dr d he will answer them he made me feel completely comfortable with all my decisions if i was unsure i would ask him like hey like what what, what do you think is better and he would give me his opinion i would give him my opinion and we just kind of worked it out and then i was like yes i'm so happy with my teeth um so it's literally been like what's today's date it's been like probably three weeks since I left Colombia and I waited for that time because I wanted to see what I would feel like eating and stuff. Um, and one question I keep getting, did it hurt? Um, no, it didn't hurt. It was a little sore because he had to do the gum contouring a little bit, but overall the process is like really easy. It's a two day process. Every time I was there, I was only there for four hours each, so um, my first appointment was probably like four hours, second appointment probably like four hours too, um, but he numbs you up with local anesthesia, and when you leave, you can still eat normally. Like I said, I was just sore from the gum, gum contouring, and just the, um, the shots wearing off as well. But um, overall, it was a painless procedure, and like I said, I'm happy with the whole thing. Okay, anyways, let me get back to my experience three weeks after the procedure. Um, the first few days, obviously, it feels a little weird, because um, you're just not used to these things in your mouth, but trust me, I was smiling the whole way through it. I'm calling my sister on FaceTime like, <laughs> yes, girl! And like just just smiling a little more and just definitely boosted my confidence like ten times like more. Um and I'm just so happy because do you guys remember? I had this crooked tooth and I don't have a crooked tooth anymore. And I still have teeth. My teeth are still intact, which is amazing. So if I wanted to take these off, I probably could. The only tooth I would have to worry about is obviously my one that he shaved down a little bit but i still have it it's not like those shark teeth that you see because that's kind of scary when dentists shave your whole tooth down no i still have my teeth so my teeth are still very strong um 
Also, another thing he did before I left, he made sure I was able to floss with every tooth, which I was very appreciative of him about that. I don't even think he knew that. <laughs> but one issue that I had from the States when I got my two teeth, uh, my two porcelain um, teeth, I could not floss and I would always complain about it. I'm like, yo, I cannot floss between my teeth and I'm a big flosser. I brush my teeth every day. Um, I do self care. <laughs> but anyways, like my doctor here in America didn't even do that. Didn't make me feel comfortable. It was just like, okay, this is just my top. That's it, you know? Um, I don't know, maybe I guess since you're traveling from another country, these doctors definitely want to make you feel comfortable like hey you're in my country let me make sure everything is right the first time but like i said i love dr d i love the whole experience and also too there's so many celebrities that literally come to columbia um i've seen rick ross stream doll so many people and they have money um and they still trust this country you know so why not do medical tourism in another country you know it's gonna save your pockets and you're gonna get better care so it's a win-win-win you know um and if you guys have more questions just watch the last clips with me and dr d um i feel like these are the most common questions asked when traveling for veneers overseas um and I hope you guys like my blog and share if you have any questions for me, um, accommodations or anything, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, DM me, follow me on Instagram, travel with Miko. And also when you go to Dr. D, tell them travel with Miko sent you and you just see my experience. But I promise you, if you go to him, you are going to love the experience as well. I highly recommend him. Um, and if you don't know anything about me, if you follow my Instagram, I am completely honest. If I did not like my experience, we would be having a total different conversation. But I completely trust him, literally. And as you can see, I have an amazing smile now.